hello kids so today i will uh, we will make one story small story okay so from that story you will come to know uh, you will able to do some movement as some animation you will come to know how to do the animation part and everything so let's start so first we will take backdrop we'll change your backdrop let's see which backdrop which backdrop let's see let's see okay i will take um theta or sports theta okay and instead of this bright i will be using some ballerina okay so in this this will be a little uh, small story so in which i will just show you a little bit animation so my ballerina will come from this point to here she will dance here and she will go back here okay so let's start so my first thing first thing statement is when flag click so it's on ballerina so what will what ballerina will do when flag clicked the first thing you have to set the initial position of your ballerina so to set initial position if ballerina is here somewhere but you don't want the initial position here you want the ballerina's initial position should be here so what is the position now as i told you before x and y axis will tell you the position of your sprite so your x is minus 219 and y is minus 56 okay so to set initial position i will choose go to you go to x and y see here we directly got the position minus 219 minus 56 if i change the position of the ballerina my and see now go to position is different so you don't need to remember or you don't need to edit you just need to move the ballerina where you want exactly in the starting so i got this position so in starting see if i keep my ballerina here on the flag set she will come here okay the second one she should come to the center okay now I am expecting little bit animation while she is coming from this point to this point. I will use the glide statement. Okay. So first I will keep my ballerina here. Okay. And I use the glide statement. I will use the glide statement. What glide, glide statement will do? If my ballerina was here, from here to here, to go from this position to this position, it will take, it will go in one second. So, it will look like she is moving. Let's start. We will just start. We will check out of her. See. If I am thinking this is very fast, so I will do this two seconds so see so now in our story this added some animation part so this will look like okay she is moving she is walking from here to here okay now she will say hi hello or something like that so i will go and look so there I will say 
same. So in this I will say hello. Today I I'm going to perform for you. Okay. So today I'm going to perform for you. So let's see what okay so now if I want her to dance okay last lecture last uh, in last lesson I told you about repeat okay so I am using using the repeat statement instead of 10 I will repeat this loop 20 okay and say here if I select the ballerina and I, I select the costume tab see there are some ballerinas costumes are there so that will feel like she is dancing if you continuously see this thing so you will feel that she is dancing it gives you that effect that she is dancing so I will I will repeat this uh, repeat this loop 20 times and I will say next costume but when I run this thing you will see so this is very fast to make it little bit slow what I will I will do I will tell it to wait for let's see 0 0.5 seconds let's see so now it's still like okay okay so it will this loop will get executed 20 times then we stop okay after that she will say thank you and she will go so i will say thank you and she will go back here okay so i will drag my ballerina here and i will use the glide statement again uh, i'm using two seconds only so this is my small program okay so this is a small story that ballerina is coming to coming on a stage middle of the stage and she will perform and she will go back if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel don't forget to press the bell button for new videos notification